Welcome to the Conservation Society of San Antonio's 2022 Historic Preservation Awards Ceremony. Since 1924, the Society has been a tireless advocate for the architecture, natural beauty, and cultural heritage of San Antonio. These awards recognize superlative accomplishments in heritage conservation. Our first category of awards is the Texas Preservation Hero Award. This award is given to those groups or individuals who have made outstanding contributions to historic preservation. We have five honorees this evening. The work of Humberto Saldana, AIA, spans five decades and includes such notable restorations as the Little Church of La Vieta, the Crockett Block on Alamo Plaza, and San Antonio City Hall. When the Conservation Society acted to purchase and restore the Stackey and Stevens building in 1979, Humberto Saldana did the hard work of moving the facades back to save the architectural landmarks. Saldana's work on the Stevens and Stackey building, the book building, and the Crockett block were all honored by the American Institute of Architects. Designer of more than 33 restorations and rehabilitations, including City Hall, Humberto Saldana is a true Texas preservation hero. Ray Knox has been helping to save and improve San Antonio's parks for 40 years, beginning with McAllister Park, where he has served Friends of McAllister Park since 1990. In 2004, Mayor Lila Cockrell asked him to found Friends of the Parks. He began the famous Kite and Dog Festival during his presidency. Ray also helped start Friends of Volker Park, Friends of the Medina River Natural Area, and the Brackenridge Park Conservancy. No one is a better friend of San Antonio's parks than this Texas preservation hero. Maria Stevenson Green has been a stalwart of the Coalition for the Woolworth Building since its founding in 2018. As an active volunteer for both the Conservation Society and the San Antonio branch NAACP, Maria has helped plan many of the public actions to save the building, including the lunch counter integration commemorations in 2020 and 2021, the trip to Austin to secure state antiquities landmark status in 2019, and the video testimonials in the summer of 2020. In 2021, Maria composed a passionate, poetic speech for the Bear County Commission, honoring their support for her coalition's cause. Maria has also worked to help save landmarks connected to her own family and deep roots in San Antonio, making her a true Texas preservation hero. Patricia Pat Izell joined the Conservation Society in 2006 and served on the board for four years. She has spent decades dedicating her time and talent to activities that embody our mission. The chairmanship of the Farm and Ranch Committee led to her researching and coordinating three National Register nominations for the Kraus House, Blas Herrera Ranch, and Heidemann House. She has helped prepare city landmark designations and has spent hours interviewing, documenting, and posting exhibits on dozens of sites on the Farm and Ranch website. As the go-to person for the preservation of our many farm and ranch sites, Pat is a treasured Texas preservation hero. County Judge and former San Antonio Mayor Nelson Wolf is retiring from an outstanding career in public service that has included the preservation of some of San Antonio's greatest natural and cultural treasures, from the Bear County Courthouse to the Mission Reach. Judge Wolf has been a tireless advocate for saving, reusing, and interpreting irreplaceable resources that speak to every aspect of our past. The Mission Reach, one of the largest ecological restorations in the nation, received essential support from Judge Wolf. The restoration of James Riley Gordon's Bear County Courthouse, and especially its double-height courtroom, was led by Judge Wolf. That courtroom hosted our 2018 Conference of Cultural Organizations, where Judge Wolf told us to pay attention to the plans for Alamo Plaza. As we developed proposals to help save the Woolworth and Crockett buildings, Judge Wolf voiced his support and ultimately secured funding for the rehabilitation of the buildings and the interpretation of the lunch counter integration. The Bear Heritage Center opened in 2019 and showcased the county's rich history. At every step, 
Judge Wolf has been a staunch advocate for restoring the architectural, natural, and cultural heritage of San Antonio and an exemplary Texas preservation hero. The 2022 Lynn Ford Craftsman Award goes to Diana Kersey. Diana's work can be seen all over San Antonio. From the Mulberry Street Bridge in Brackenridge Park to the new high-rise buildings on Texas 368 near the Pearl. Following a Bachelor of Fine Arts from Texas Tech and her Master of Fine Arts from Washington State, Diana created Kersey Ceramics LLC and received her first public commission in 2011. Her philosophy of public art emphasizes the importance of community, those who will share her creations for decades to come. As she says, successful public art projects help to strengthen communities and lower barriers. Her ceramic sculptures at Five Points and the Mulberry and Mill Race Bridges in Brackenridge Park build on local themes, invite repeated interactions, and emphasize the importance of nature and the natural world in our lives. Presenting the 2022 Historic Preservation Awards for the Built Environment. The jury for the 2022 Building Awards consisted of Anat Geva, Professor Emeritus of Architecture at Texas A&M University, Evan Thompson, Executive Director of Preservation Texas in Austin, and H. Glenn Reed, Chief Architect, Historic Sites Division, Texas Historical Commission. Temple Bethel. As the oldest synagogue in South Texas, Temple Bethel holds a significant place in the history of the region, and its dome can be seen for miles in nearby neighborhoods. So when the congregation decided to restore the dome, they made sure it would be a restoration of the best quality. Carefully replicating historic tiles with the original manufacturer, Belden Roofing restored the distinctive multicolored decorative panel design. The jury especially admired the elaborate and careful scaffolding that was erected to allow the dome again to shine from atop the hill. John Ruckman House. This 19th century house in Carnes County was large for its era with an elaborate two-story front porch. Its rehabilitation required meticulous and time-consuming effort. Windows were painstakingly restored, while later additions and alterations were removed. The paint colors chosen came from matching small fragments of the original paint that had survived, which impressed the jury. As a result of this restoration, the 144-year-old house reasserts its dignified architectural character. Kelso House This 1906 Atlee Ayers design sits on a prominent gateway corner of Monte Vista and would have been demolished for parking if not for the Power of Preservation Foundation. They negotiated a purchase of the house and transformed it into a learning lab for historic preservation and construction science students at the University of Texas at San Antonio and the city's Rehabber Club. With the support of two grants from the Conservation Society of San Antonio, the Power of Preservation Foundation restored the exterior walls, roof of the house, and massive porch in 2021, revealing the house in all its former beauty. In a city known for taking care of its historic landmarks, it is especially important that major public projects set an example for best practices. The multi-million dollar rehabilitation of City Hall passed that test with flying colors, impressing our jury with the careful rehabilitation of original wood windows, preservation of the tiled lobby interior, cleaning of the limestone facade, and integration of fully modern interior systems into a building dating from 1888 and 1927. Every element of the exterior and interior was addressed, including the restoration of the mayor's office. The jury was further impressed with the elegant staircases that have made the front entrance accessible and the high-quality landscape design accompanying that project. 